and still they come. The latest migrants risking all to cross the channel. 18 in this group believed to be from Syria, off the Kent coast, packed into a dinghy, barely staying above the waterline. They have to keep bailing out to stay afloat. A UK border force vessel pulls alongside as their journey comes to an end. In the skies above, an RAF Atlas plane helps with surveillance. As record numbers make these crossings in the past few days, the Prime Minister expressed his concern. What's going on is the activity of cruel and criminal gangs who are risking the lives of these people, taking them across the channel, a, you know, a pretty dangerous stretch of water in, in potentially unseaworthy vessels. We want to stop that. The Home Secretary, Priti Patel, visited Border Force staff in Dover as a group of Conservative politicians called for tougher action. In a Calais migrant camp, Mohammed tells me he risked crossing by boat last month. He says he was picked up and brought back to France. I didn't know how to swim. I haven't life jacket in that time. I haven't any safety precautions. I just I was thinking about two things. I will die or I will cross. It's a journey of death, but we have a choice, you know. I think it's dangerous, you know. Is it really worth the risk? Yes, yes. As long as there are those desperate to risk everything to try and reach the UK and criminal gangs keen to exploit that demand, the growing challenge from the Channel migrant crisis will remain. As the intercepted dinghies mount up, one French politician criticised reports that the Royal Navy could become involved to tackle the problem. The way it make migrants in the Channel are treated right now with all the uh, all the atmosphere and political atmosphere around it, uh, showing muscles, uh, asking for more money, uh, etc., etc., make us forget we are talking about human people. Tomorrow, the UK immigration minister Chris Philp will head to Paris as the two governments look at how best to respond. Neil Connery, News at 10, Calais.